We have just landed at Baghdad International Airport. It's 12.55 a.m. local time and the outside temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. Well, it's like deja vu. Here we are, Baghdad. Made it. It was steamy hot last time. This time it's quite cool. Just 12 degrees, she said. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas Eve from Istanbul Airport. Yes, we're on our way to another destination. And if you don't already know us, I'm Steph. And I'm Susan. And we're Girls on the Loose. Okay, so this is a new destination for Steph, but it's not for me. This is my second time. And tonight we're going to Baghdad. Woo! <laughs> I am so excited. It's my first time and I've been hanging out to do this for months. Awesome. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so um, Steph's been waiting for a couple of months to get her chance to go. And um, of course I'm going back to create more content or we're both going back for more content. Also going back to write an article. And to eat some delicious food. Yes, and to eat some delicious Baghdadi food, Iraqi food. So what better way to spend Christmas than in Iraq? That's got to be something new. So we're just heading to our gate now. Um, it's about an hour before departure. We had to get the horrid PCR test um, before we could check in. No worries there, negative, of course. It'll be good when this Rona's done and dusted. Getting a bit tired of it. Hopefully uh, it'll wind up soon. So it's pretty fabulous to be heading back to Baghdad, quite frankly. You know, it was only three months ago that I made my first visit to Iraq and here I am lucky enough to go back again already. Um, it was a really special trip last time by myself. This time Steph's along as well, but I think that makes it special too, but in a different way. So um, this time we plan to visit a lot of different places, not so much historical Iraq, but a little of the religious side. Okay, so they've called us for boarding. Let's do it. Not many here. Um, hopefully the plane's not full. The guy at check-in did say we had someone beside us though, so that's a little... Um, upsetting I guess if the plane's not full Some people don't want to go. Changed his mind. So, Baghdad it is there. It sure is. I can't wait to touch down there. Okay, so we're on board. Um, here we go. Yep, ready to get there. Yeah. Hopefully the plane's not full. I don't think it is. Um, with any luck we might get the seat free beside us. So we can have one free in the middle. A guy who's supposed to sit there. He doesn't want to sit there. So that suits us. Um, yeah. Okay, so indeed we have got a very full plane. Um, we've just done the old switcheroo in the seats. I'm now in the middle because we have a gentleman beside us and uh, yeah we're about to depart hopefully it's taking quite a while to get all these people situated and all their bags and all their bags <laughs> I think uh, Iraq is like shopping in Turkey uh, a lot of bags a lot of luggage they could check it in it would make it a lot easier um, anyway um, Catch you on the other side. See you in Baghdad. See you in Baghdad.
head over to the visa desk. Better turn this off just for the minute. Hey, we're in Iraq. It doesn't feel real. Hard to believe that this morning I was teaching students in Istanbul. Now I'm sitting here at Baghdad Airport waiting for my visa on arrival. Yeah, and how much does a visa on arrival cost? It's $77 uh, US dollars. And so you should have exact change whenever you come um, because there's no guarantee that they'll have change to give back to you. Second Iraqi visa. There's a visa office over there. 77 US dollars. Okay, so we're through immigration. We've got our bags. Uh, we got some money out the ATM. There's a red one in the back corner here. You can see behind me there. And then the taxi, the best taxi to get is that blue booth right there. Um, those guys charge about 32 US dollars to go to the city and um, it's a nice private car easy uh, it's a little bit expensive but it is quite a quite a far quite a decent distance um, to town so let's uh, grab our taxi and and head out Tama, let's go So it's about 1.30 a.m. here at the moment. You get these official taxis because regular street taxis are not allowed at the airport. This is your driver, it's okay? Um, yep. pretty painless wasn't it? It was one of the easiest um, immigration processes I've ever been through. Yeah that was pretty quick pretty easy bag was already waiting I was sitting on the conveyor belt and uh, tout for the taxi company grabbed us straight away and now we're heading into town. <coughs> awesome. So we're just waiting to uh, pay for the taxi ride you actually pay for it just as you head outside of the airport um, on the road towards town. Uh, 45,000 gets you into the city and uh, it's not unusual for um, the passenger to just pay at the window as we rock up. Right here, our turn. Shukran. Okay, so off we go. So we're almost at the hotel. It was about a half hour drive, I suppose. Yeah. Royal Hotel. 
All right, so we've arrived at the hotel. We're staying at the Royal Garden um, near downtown, near Tahrir. It's not far from Tahrir Square. Um, let's check out the room. So it's a twin room, two beds, small fridge. It's quite cold in here, to be honest. Um, we've got a little uh, kind of vanity. Yeah, vanity. I can put on my makeup before I film tomorrow. <laughs> There's a wardrobe that you can't get at. And um, yeah, you know, usual stuff. Um, we also have a phone that. Oh my god, doesn't work. Too bad. Supposedly they do a PCR test here or they arrange to get someone in to give you a PCR test. They also have breakfast, they have laundry and SIM cards and supposedly. SIM cards, supposedly so. Yeah, we haven't asked about that yet. I've still got my SIM card from my previous visit. It just needs a top up because it actually did hook up to the network. Um, just no money on it so yeah. can't use it so i guess we'll uh go to bed yes <laughs> buggered all right yeah. so we'll catch you in the morning yep see you tomorrow to get out exploring